So there seems to be this trend in the Rust server community where servers that are using GUIs where players have to interact with something on the screen, such as server info, instead of taking that opportunity to have a really great image there, like this one right here, people are wanting to take that same information and put it over top of a transparent image or a see-through image so that you don't have anything in the background and you can just see what's going on in the game behind the information. And of course, who am I to judge? If you guys ask me to show you how to do something, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Regardless of my personal opinion on it, I'll get you the information that you ask for. So that's what today's video is all about. I'm gonna show you guys how you can put a transparent image or actually what we're doing is making the background transparent and not using an image at all inside the configuration for server info so that when your player joins the server, they still get the same information, but they don't have any fancy graphic or image in the background behind it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to hopefully show you the different things that you can do on your servers to make your server stand out in the crowd. So if you're brand new to the channel, of course, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that you're working on. Plus, it really helps me out a lot. And I know sometimes it can be a little bit cumbersome because you may have to set up an account if you don't already have one, but you subscribing to my channel does help me out more than you'll ever know. All right, so like I said in the intro, I'm gonna show you guys how you can get rid of this great looking image that I've shown you how to do on a previous tutorial and just make everything completely transparent, obviously, except for the text that you want your players to have access to. Hey, I don't judge. And if I didn't make it perfectly clear in the very beginning, this process that I'm gonna show you today is only for server info. I've done a couple of videos on server info, on customizing server info, etc, etc, but I've never actually covered this aspect of it. But the same process that we're going to perform on server info should technically work across anything that is using a similar type of graphic or background color or whatever. All right, so to make this happen, we're going to go into our Oxide folder, config, and then we're going to scroll down until we find server info. And there we go, server info right there. We're going to scroll down fairly far until we find a section dealing with the background image and the background color. So don't pay attention to my number lines because this is a very modified version of server info but this information will work for anybody that's just installing server info for the very first time so we want to go down to the background image here and where it says enabled we're going to make this false and then we scroll down a little bit more until we get to the background color right here so the default background color is 000255 that's the blue background that you've probably seen in the past if you've ever worked with server info before so what we're going to actually do is we're going to take that same information that's already there and we're just going to add a transparency character to it as well. So the 000255 is the actual color. And then in position seven and eight of a hex code is also the transparency value. By default, with no value there whatsoever, it just means that it's 100% opaque, which means not transparent at all. So we're just going to add a 00 to the end of this hex code. We're going to save our config and we're going to reload the plugin. And then we'll go back in game. And it just so happens that it's nighttime out. So I'm just going to do slash info in chat. And there you go. Now you have a full fully 100% transparent background color, even though it's not actually a color. And then all we have there is the text that we have in the rest of our server info config file. And if anybody happens to be reading this, I just noticed that that information was still on my server info. So if you're reading this, DM Dennis and tell him that I said hello from Canada. Please don't do that. I'm told that most often he has his DMs turned off and I feel like a lot of that is my fault because I did something like this. But please don't message Dennis for no good reason, please. So to be totally honest with you guys, I don't know why people want to do this. To me, this looks not nearly as good as it does if you put a graphic in the background. Plus, look at all this real estate that you get to use for advertising your website, your Discord, whatever. It's a lot of free real estate that gets splashed up in front of every new player that joins your server. And so many of you are asking me to show you how to get rid of it. And I don't understand that. But I mean, like I said, I don't judge. You guys asked me to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it, even though I disagree with it. But there you go. That's, that's how you do it. You just simply add the transparency code at the end of the hex code that's defining the background color that's there. <laughs> it's totally cool that you guys choose to do this. Uh, I'm glad that I could show you how to do it. I just don't understand it. So if you decide that you don't like it and you want to change that back, we're going to take away that transparency code, which basically just makes it go back to 100% opaque. We're also going to turn our image back on. We're going to reload the plugin again, and then we're going to go back into the server. And we're going to type info and there's my image back and everything looks just as good as it did before. In fact, even better from when it was transparent. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I know this was a short one and I'm glad I was able to keep it short, but I have had a lot of people asking me about this in the comment section and I don't really understand it, but 
but whatever. Like I've said now three times, you guys asked me for it, I provided it. Remember, I put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So until next Friday, if you can't be smart, at least try to be safe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.